Now let me take it to the promo of the week. Burger after burger after burger. Chopy, chopy, yo. Beep, beep. <laughs> burger after burger. Choppy, choppy. We ran the gamut on promos on that one. This promo of the week, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give it to, well, this is for SmackDown. Remember, I, I split these up now. SmackDown promo of the week, Logan Paul versus LA Knight. Now, I'm not going to sit here and, and say, oh my God, this is the most amazing promo I ever, I've ever seen. I'm going to tell you why I'm giving a promo of the week, though. And really, it's for Logan Paul. And you got to give Logan Paul a lot of fucking credit on this one. Because this is honestly one of the first times I've ever seen uh, L.A. Knight made uh, to look small. Kind of got the best of L.A. Knight in this promo. And uh, L.A. Knight is known to really like fucking destroy people on the mic. I'm sure all of you know that. But um, yeah, it's really one of the least likely people I, I would expect to kind of get the best of LA Knight and being one of the first people to do it. Um but yeah, I mean he had some he had some stock lines in there, Logan, but um you know, he called him a, a catchphrase uh spray tan bodybuilder and you know, um called him a rock ripoff, which you know, that's kind of a generic line. Even LA Knight kind of played it off like yeah, you know. But where I think he really laid into LA Knight was that he went into this this rant Logan Paul did about how he's not just defined by what he does in the ring. He's also defined by what he does outside of the ring. And he explains how he has these corporations and, you know, this pot, this is, you know, really successful podcast and how, that he he goes, he leaves the ring and goes and talks to former presidents and billionaires and celebrities and he's you know he's hobnobbing with the fucking uh biggest stars in the world that kind of thing and then he went into la night where he's like hey you know but i like what you do i like what you do like he really belittled la night and then laid in on the truth and it really was was as a la night fan it was almost like hard for me to accept especially coming from logan paul but he goes, you have had you've had no defining moments in 20 years in this business. And that was like, oh, oh, boy. And then I, it made me flash back to all of those like, you know, things that all those like little videos that were going viral of L.A. Knight doing like car commercials and doing all these things and guy co -com commercials and fucking everything that you could think of. And like it made me feel bad for LA Knight because it also really put it in this place of like he Logan Paul, and I, this sounds crazy to say, but Logan Paul is what LA Knight is pretending to be. And that promo to me like it showed that it exposed that. Like LA Knight's pretending to be the mega megastar, but in reality, Logan Paul in this in this relative to this conversation is the megastar and you know not to take anything from him he is he is one of the most famous people in the world right now i think i think i hope i'm not in a fucking bubble here but um yeah i think he just uh you know i'm not gonna say that it made me like oh fuck la Knight. he's a he's a hack or anything like that i, I still love la Knight. la Knight. it's just this promo it was definitely one of Logan's best promos, if not the best promo he's he's ever cut. Um, and the fact that it went in on all those levels and there was that little bit of truth that I think all the LA Knight fans even were like, oh, yeah, he's, he's fucking right. But I still like this guy. Still like this guy. He's entertaining. 
At the end of the day, LA Knight is entertaining, but it also shows you that WWE needs to either fucking pull the trigger or just, you know, stop dick teasing us with LA Knight. Do something with him. Give him some kind of like some kind of attributes that we can like at least he can at least brag about. Um, because you can only brag about everybody liking you for so so long before that doesn't mean anything. And then that's where people become heels because it's like the 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 logic inevitably goes to well me being liked that hasn't done me any good so let me do this let me do these evil things and actually get successful. And LA Knight could work as a heel the character but he's too likable. People love him too much. I don't think they're ready to turn on LA Knight. So yeah. I, I just, you know, I call a spade a spade. Logan Paul fucking flamed LA Knight in that in that whole promo. There was points where I thought LA Knight was gonna come back, but he just he never he never was able to get back. It's too much truth hit hit to him. You can't uh can't respond.